All right, guys, example five. Example five says in the diagram below, not drawn to scale, O is the center of the circle. Um, o is the center of the circle. ABC is a tangent to the circle at B and the angle um, CBD is equal to 22 degrees. Angle CBD is 22 degrees. Angle C, B, D is 22 degrees. So that is actually not in the diagram, but they are telling us that C, B, D, which is this angle here, they're telling us that this angle is 22 degrees. Now that was not included in the diagram, but I'm guessing it's something that we're going to need in, in order to answer the question. Angle C, B, D, we are told is 22 degrees. We're asked to calculate the size of each of the following angles, given reasons for your answer. Um, we need B, F, E, B, F, E, we need this angle here. So this is the A angle. We need um, B, D, E, B, D, E, B, D, E. That's this angle here. B, D, E. So this is angle B, the second angle we're asked to find. Um, then we need B, O, E. So DOE is this angle here. So that is C. And we need BED, bed. BED, BED. That's this angle here. So that is D. Any other? A, B, C, D. No, it seems like that is it. A, B, C, D. All right, so we've already identified the angles that we want. A is B, F, E. B is D, um, D, sorry, B, D, E. C is B, O, E. And D is, um, so we need to find all of these. So I would start off with A, um, which is B, um, F, E. B, F, E is equal to, 67 degrees, BFE is equal to 67 degrees. And this is the reason the angle between the tangent and the chord. So BE is the chord and the angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. All right, so I'll show that in a second. The angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. So the angle here, the 67 degrees, is the angle between the tangent and the chord. And that is equal to the angle at A, which is the angle in the alternate segment. So A is equal to 67. The angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. Next, we need um, to determine the size of angle BDE. Now I'm gonna use the fact that this shape here, that this shape here, is a cyclic quadrilateral and opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. So since the angle at A is equal to 67, the angle at B is equal to 180 minus 67. 
And that would be what, 113? 113? Yeah? And this is the reason there are opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. Opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Um, now the angle at C, the angle at C and the BOE is equal to 67 times two, sorry, 67 degrees times two, it's 134 degrees. This is the reason the angle at center is equal to the angle, sorry, is equal to two times, two times angle at circumference. So um, O is the angle at the center, A is the angle at the circumference, the angle at the center, which is C, that C angle, it's two times the angle at A, the angle at A is 67 degrees. Lastly is D. To find D, we're going to use this theory. That's my tangent. This is my chord. This angle here, which is 22 degrees, this was given, but it's not in the diagram. And this now is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. So if this is 22, this is also. 22. The angle between the tangent and the chord at the point of contact is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. So angle BED is equal to 22 degrees. Angle um, between tangent and chord is equal to angle in alternate segment. And that would be the end of the question. All right, just realize that we, we did A, but we didn't write the reason. This is the angle between tangent and chord is equal to angle in alternate segment. So the same reason for A is the same reason for D. All right, so this is our last question on circuit theorem. So this is new guys, it requires um, some effort to perfect it, um, but it is something that you can perfect. Um, these questions, if they come, they're gonna come in question number nine on your exam. So we want to be ready for it to get maximum amount of marks possible. Example six says in the diagram below, not drawn to scale, O is the center of the circle. Um, R and Q, sorry, RQ and PQ are tangents to the circle. And angle POR is equal to 150 degrees. Calculate given reasons for your answers. The size of angle ORQ, ORQ, that's this angle here. So this is my A. Um, PQR, this is my B. And um, S, sorry, PSR, PSR, this is my C. And I think that is, oh, and there's a PTR, PTR. This is my D. All right, very quickly, guys, I want you all to take 10 minutes and see if you can 
come up with all the answers, but not just all the answers, also give the correct reasoning. All right. So um, 10 minutes, guys. At the end of the 10 minutes, I'll work the question. All right, let's go, guys. Um, last chance to show that we fully understand the topic. 10 minutes, do this, then I'll work, the, I'll finish the question and we'll be done for the day.
All right, guys. Um, a, what is A equal to anybody? Guys, what is A equal to anybody? All right, here what? Is another answer? Um, All right. All right, Jaden, I hear you. So let's start. I'm going to resume the recording. So the first angle, angle O, RQ is 90 degrees. So that's this angle here. It's 90 degrees. And the reason for that is the radius, which is OR at point of contact is at right angles to tangent. The radius at the point of contact is at right angles to the tangent. Um, for the same reason, um, OPQ is also 90 degrees. Then we are asked to determine the size of angle P, Q, R, that's the angle indicated by B. That's angle here. And P, Q, R is equal to 180 minus 150. All right. Um, because of the interior angles of a site of a quadrilateral. Add up to 100, sorry, 360 degrees. 360 degrees. So if two the angles from, um, so it's this is the quadrilateral we're talking. And the angles, the sum of the interior angle of any quadrilateral is 360. So since the angles to the left and the right, they are both 90 degrees, and this is 180, this 150, the one at B must be equal to 30 degrees. Then we need um, angle PSR, which is the angle at C. Now, the angle at C is equal to 75 degrees. This is equal to 150. Divide by two is equal to 75 degrees. Angle at center is equal to two times angle at circumference. And of course, you could say the other way around. The angle at the circumference is half the angle at the center. Lastly, angle PTR. Angle PTR. To do that, sorry, it's not P, is it PT, PTR? Yeah. So we just found this to be 75 degrees. Is it 75? Yeah. Now we want angle PTR. And we're going to use the fact that this is a cyclic quadrilateral. And that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. So angle PTR is equal to 180 minus um, 75 degrees. This is 105 degrees. There are opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. There are opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral.